Hi, it's me, Dr. Prasad Pothilam, continuing the inorganic laboratory experiment. This is analysis of a dolomite. Dolomite, it is an anhydrous carbonate mineral composed of calcium magnesium carbonate. That is MgCO3, CaCO3, which can be written as CaMgCO3 twice. Now, minerals, they are naturally occurring, uh, naturally available uh, metallic compounds, metal oxides or metal uh, in their compound form, which are stable. And the ores are the minerals from which uh, the metal can be extracted with the easiness as well as with the maximum profit. Therefore, these minerals are always having importance. So, dolomite is one of the mineral of uh, both carbonate, carbonates of magnesium and car uh, calcium. So, the alternate names sometimes used for the dolomite rock type is dolostone. It forms a white or tan, gray or pink crystal based on the composition. A small amount of iron in the structure gives the crystal a yellow to brown tint and high manganese content gives crystal a rosy pink color. The, com the uses of dolomites, it is used as ornament ornamental stone. It is used as a mixture of concrete or concrete aggregate. It is a source of magnesium oxide as well as it is used for the production of magnesium by a process known as Phrygian process. In horticulture, that is agriculture related uh, science field, dolomite and dolomitic limestone are added as soil or for the soil less potting mixer to maintain the pH, it, it acts as a buffer. It is also used in marine aquarium or salt water aquarium to maintain the pH of the solution. The chemical composition of dolomite it varies from source to source, but generally it consists of 30 weight percentage of uh, calcium oxide, 21 weight percentage of magnesium oxide, and 45 weight percentage of carbon dioxide. The principle behind the uh, estimation of uh, dolomite, uh, there are two principles used. Uh, gravimetric method is used to, to identify the residues present in that, and titrimetric method, uh, complexometric titration with EDTA is used to find calcium as well as magnesium. Both calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate, it, uh, can, it can be converted into corresponding oxide at very high temperature. It is above 480 degrees Celsius for uh, calcium and above 7, 750 degrees Celsius for uh, magnesium carbonate. Therefore, we can uh, heat the solution uh, so that uh, the residues will uh, precipitate uh, on uh, the solution state, whereas the calcium and magnesium ions will remain as the uh, in the solution state. That is on heating dolomite, the finely powdered dolomite, it can be dissolved in hydrochloric acid and uh, it will leave the uh, precipitate, uh, uh, any residues, any uh, rock materials are there that will uh, precipitate. From the weight of the residue, its percentage can be calculated if you know the weight of the dolomite which is taken. The total concentration of calcium ions and magnesium ions can be estimated by titrating with the standard EDTA solution that we call as the complexometric titration because calcium and magnesium can form complexes with the EDTA. At pH 10, that pH 10 can be maintained by a buffer, ammoniacal buffer, ammonium hydroxide, ammonium chloride buffer. And that pH 10, you can use EBT, ediachrom black tea as indicator. By adding a strong base like KOH solution, then maintaining a high pH, pH of around 12.3, which is done with diethylamine buffer, magnesium ions will be converted into insoluble magnesium hydroxide and only calcium ions will remain in the solution which can react with the EDTA and the calcium ions concentration can be estimated by titrating with EDTA and at this pH uh, EBT cannot be used therefore we have to go for pattern and readers indicator. From the values obtained the concentration of uh, Mg2 plus can be calculated Knowing the concentration of amount of uh, percentage of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate, their uh, corresponding percentage can be estimated or calculated. Now EDTA, that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, you cannot use EDTA as such in a lab because it is sparingly soluble. It will not dissolve easily with uh, sol aqua solvent. Whereas if you use disodium salt of EDTA, it is readily soluble in water, but it may undergo uh, hydration Therefore, we need to add sulfuric acid before adding water to that. So this is a structure of uh, disodium salt of EDTA in which Na will uh, separate as Na plus and it becomes CH2COO minus. Therefore, two Na molecules will separate. The remaining structure uh, will be uh, having CH2COO minus in two uh, sides. 
therefore we can represent it as uh, while writing chemical reaction we can write it as na2h2x so the two hydrogens are represented the remaining uh, structure with uh, negative charges it is represented as such or even simply we can write h2x or we can even use edta as such even though we use a disodium salt of edta for the ease of convenient or con convenient easiness we name it as edta only most of the time uh, 0.01 molar sodium disodium salt of edta can be prepared by dissolving 3.723 gram in 1 liter standard flask by adding uh, sulfuric acid and uh, uh, diluting with uh, water EBT indicator that is ediachrome black tea, its structure is represented here. It can be represented as H2Y minus for writing a reaction or two hydrogen, the hydroxyl hydrogen, which is indicated here, OH here and this OH, that hydrogen is represented as H2. The remaining structure is represented as Y with a negative charge on the molecule. At a pH 10, ediachrome black tea indicator solution is blue in color. Whereas if it forms a complex with uh, metal ions like calcium or magnesium ions, this uh, metal ion EBT complex at pH 10 will be wine red in color. Therefore, this phenomena this or this property color change with when it forms a complex with a metal ion or a free indicator color, it, it can be used to estimate the amount of uh, calcium or magnesium concentration in the solution. Platinum readers indicator this is another uh, protic uh, indicator. It's a co complexometric titration indicator. It can be represented as H2Z minus. At pH about 12.3, the uh, pro protons of the hydroxyl group, OH group, that proton will be removed. Therefore, the remaining structure will be having Z3 minus form. It will be blue in color. When it forms a complex with a metal ion, just like that of uh, with the EBT, it forms a complex with a metal ion its color will be converted into pink. Standardization, then now the procedure uh, behind the estimation. Standardization of uh, disodium salt of EDTA. Disodium salt of EDTA solution we prepare and it has to be standardized by using uh, zinc sulfate solution, actually zinc sulfate heptahydrate solution. Approximately 0.28 gram of zinc sulfate heptahydrate crystals is dissolved in 100 ml, 100 cm cube, uh, 100 cubic uh, centimeter of standard flask dissolved with dilute sulfuric acid to avoid the water of hydration uh, and made up to the mark and shaken well to have uniform concentration. Then we can calculate its strength in molarity as mass by molecular mass uh, that will be in liter 0.28 is the weight of zinc sulfate taken 287.54 is the molecular mass of zinc sulfate. Since we didn't prepare a one liter solution we prepare only 100 ml therefore f multiplication factor 10 is add, multiplied there. that will that much molar. In burette, we have to take the disodium salt of EDTA for the standardization purpose. In conical flask, we prepared 10 ml of the standard zinc sulfate solution, approximately 3 ml of the buffer, pH 10 buffer, that is ammonium hydroxide ammonium chloride buffer is added. 3 to 4 drops of EBT indicator is added. When we add indicator, zinc sulfate is a zinc ion sugar. It forms complex with the EBT. It will be uh, wine red in color. When we do the titration with the disodium salt of EDTA, disodium salt of EDTA initially react with zinc sulfate. Once the zinc ion concentration is completely removed from the solution, then the next drops of EDTA will take the zinc ion from the zinc EBT complex and the EBT will be free. It will be set free. Therefore, color changes from wine red to blue, which indicates the complete reaction of zinc ions present in the solution. Therefore, we can calculate the strength of uh, disodium salt of EDT in terms of molarity. That is molarity in volume of zinc sulfate divided by volume of uh, EDTA. That is M1 V1 is equal to M2 V2 concept. Now, preparation of dolomite solution and estimation of its residues. Uh, approximately 1 gram of dolomite is dissolved with a 15 ml of uh, 2 normal hydrochloric acid. It is heated in water bath for approximately 45 minutes complete to a precipitation if any residues are there it will be precipitated and it is the hot solution it is transferred to a waterman filter paper the residues in water and filter paper it is separated and uh, filtrate uh, the remaining solution uh, that is transferred to a 250 ml standard flask uh, make, made up to the mark and shaken well by uniform concentration first we are concentrating on the filter paper waterman filter paper containing the residue to find the weight of the residue the filter paper it is uh, transferred to a previously weighed silica crucible a dry silica crucible and the residues along with the watermark filter paper it is ignited 
then it is cooled in a desiccator and the weight of the residue is measured as weight of empty crucible as w1 gram weight of crucible plus residue as w2 gram then weight of residue will be w2 minus w1 that is w gram therefore from the weight divided by weight of dolomite multiplied by 100 will be the percentage of residue now determination of strength of uh, calcium and magnesium that is the total ion concentration for total strength in that uh, the filtrate that we transferred to 250 ml standard flask and made up to the marker from that 10 ml of the solution is pipetted into a conical flask for lmf flask approximately 3 ml of uh, ph10 buffer is added and 3 to 4 drops of ebt indicator is added it will be wine red in color and in burette we will take standard sodium disodium salt of edta and titration is done uh, once the uh, calcium ions are completely uh, calcium and magnesium ions completely react with edta the uh, indicator will be set free it will be converted into blue color therefore total strength or strength of calcium and magnesium ions can be calculated as molarity in volume of edta divided by volume of the solution pipetted that is 10 ml now determining the strength of calcium alone uh, in conical flask we take the another 10 ml of the uh, solution which is prepared in 250 ml standard flask approximately 5 ml of koi solution is added so that magnesium will uh, precipitate as magnesium hydroxide uh, the interference of magnesium you can avoid like that and 3 ml of uh, buffer uh, ph 12.3 is maintained so that the magnesium will not come back as magnesium ion if the magnesium hydroxide precipitate form and three drops of a pattern readers indicator uh, pattern readers indicator there is no ebt that is typing mistake this ebt hot remove only pattern readers indicator is added and it is titrated with the standard disodium salt of edta so at this ph 12.3 ebt will not work properly we, we cannot get the identifying uh, color changes with ebt therefore pattern readers indicator as so don't forget to remove this ebt from here this is typing uh, mistake that happened with me the for uh, the pattern reader indicator at uh, when it forms a complex with the calcium ion or any metal ion it will be converted into pink color and once the EP, the pattern reader indicator is set free it will be blue in color at ph 12.3 the for strength of calcium ion will be molarity in volume of edta divided by volume of solution volume of solution that is 10 ml so this is the way we have to find the uh, strength of a calcium ion alone and uh, the total strength now the calculation of percentage of calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate calcium carbonate present in 250 ml we estimated calcium ion concentration separately with uh, the with the help of uh, koh and uh, uh, di dithalamine to maintain the ph of 12.3 and the pattern readers indicator therefore its molarity can be calculated the we calculated the and the molarity of calcium ions which represents that of calcium carbonate Uh, that is the strength of a calcium present in the, in the in the solution prepared from calcium carbonate that is multiplied by molecular weight of calcium carbonate that is 100.09 that is the that is that much part which is given in bracket a square bracket that is in liter the definition of uh, molarity that is in liter therefore that value is only for, for liter but we prepare only 250 ml therefore the whole uh, value it is divided by 4 the per percentage will be amount of calcium carbonate divided by weight of dolomite multiplied by 100 now we can calculate the strength of a magnesium ion as we have the total strength and strength of calcium ion and the amount of magnesium carbonate will be molarity of magnesium ions multiplied by molecular weight of magnesium carbonate that is 84.139 divided by 4 since we prepared only 250 ml solution the per percentage of uh, magnesium carbonate will be amount of magnesium carbonate divided by weight of dolomite multiplied by 100 so that is about the estimation of uh, dolomite or analysis of dolomite the residue concentration if it is there then the amount of calcium carbonate and its percentage amount of uh, magnesium carbonate and its percentage hope you understood this concept of this uh, estimation uh, thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day